When I was a child, I went through the public school system. I had a community of care around me and my relatives, my grandparents, my aunts and uncles. And I come from a family of four, but I have lots of cousins. And so I always remember those days. And I want every child to have that same safety net uh, of other children around and other adults who care. The New Village Girls Academy over at St. Anne's in my district is an essential agency uh, that provides services to young women who need and deserve them. New Village is a special place. We have a very small school that's here to cater the needs of girls that are either A, looking for a smaller setting, or also have more uh, needs related to social emotional well-being. And we also have a population of our girls that are pregnant and parenting. It's a universe of young women who have already gone through the traditional system and through their life experiences, then it's probably a good idea to reach them a little differently. It's been a really tough year. Recently, I was moved away from my mom. First, it was really hard. I was always with her. Um, even when we were going through stuff when we were younger, I was always with her. I am now in the system currently. I live in Hollywood in a group home. I was involved with gang people. I would like not join in the gang, but I would be with them. I got in trouble because the girl said that I was gonna bring drugs and alcohol to school. They told me not to do anything about it, but my, my reactions are different. I'll confront the person. So I confronted her and it went kind of bad. After that, I knew that I had to get out of there. When you see on TV, you see like the whole high school experience and everything. You're like, oh, you know what? Like, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to go to like the really big dances and stuff. I want the football games. Once I got into all that, I started like lacking when it came to my grades and such. That's why I'm kind of glad that I mo ended up moving here, especially because like when it's a smaller environment, like you get more one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers and then the teachers like they actually seem to actually care about you so yeah pretty much each of those girls is now thriving in a supportive environment that addresses their personal and educational needs we are an all-girls school we are an independent charter that's authorized through LAUSD this school is unique because it really targets student interests and student passions. So what we want to do is have students walk in through our door and say, this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I want to do. And that way our teachers, our advisors can sit with them and say, okay, let's take those passions, those interests, and let's guide them into something that's academic. Are you interested in working with animals? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a lawyer? Do you want to be a cosmetologist? Do you, what is it that you want to do? The school's peer-to-peer -peer approach educates students in a creative environment. Yes, and I need some water. Yes, and it is so hot. <laughs> yes, and I'll die. <laughs> this is no ordinary acting scene. This is about 11th grader Jessica finding her own language and self-expression. The presentation helps her show off what she's learned during an entire semester at the New Village Girls Academy. And there's a lot more than acting going on. Well, this has made a really big impact on my life um, and really expressing to people how mental health and other alternatives for mental health can help you. Jessica's final presentation is two and a half hours long, covering a variety of topics. After four stays in a mental hospital, Jessica has a lot of material to draw from. They do like put us in a little box or category to keep us quiet. 
because we're crazy and it's time for us to step out that box. But Jessica, like many other young women, has found a home at New Village. Since 2006, the Academy has been helping girls like Jessica, who has gone from straight F's to straight A's. I just didn't really believe in myself. At the time, I felt like a big failure because I was failing all of my classes and not really getting anywhere. When I first met Jessica, I met a student that was very angry. Um, it's taken some time to break down some of those barriers. I see a child now that I think is ready to break through some of the challenges of adolescence. She's growing up. Jessica's mother gets emotional when asked how she sees her daughter now. These aren't sad tears. These are joyous tears. I waited two years to see my baby like this. The school's 100 students spend half their day doing research and talking to advisors regarding topics they are passionate about. I get to really take interest in what my students are interested in, so it's not about me creating a curriculum based on a textbook. The students are telling me what to do, so they're telling me what they want to learn, and then I can go and like explore what they want, and, and we, can, we can learn together. They're super talented in STEM. They have no idea until we put them in here and we have them using drills and we have them using sanders and bandsaws. They also participate in daily meditation sessions and instruction on growing their own organic food. Jessica discovered a passion for acting. Acting was a way for me to cope and I want other people to be able to express themselves in the way they want to and not how other people tell them to. When I was younger and I was a professional dancer and entertainer, did a lot of musicals and reviews and things, theater was my therapy. There's no doubt about it, especially in retrospect. When I go back 30 years ago when I was doing this, I had such a burning desire uh, to be on stage and to really um, uh, improve my skills as a professional dancer, as a professional entertainer. That was my therapy. Um, and the arts can bring that out in someone. The arts can reach a place within us that academics cannot. And when you can delve into that, then you do better academically as well. It's not rocket science. And the way our staff treats our girls, it all comes from a place of love. And all of that leads to the possibility the girls have to do something amazing in their life. And each one of them has that. I think I found myself and I'm trying to be comfortable with that. I read books by the dozens. I, when I wasn't in a show, I read. Um, so I've continued my quest for knowledge and wisdom my whole life. And I think that the Village the School for Girls teaches that principle in these young women and sets them on a course for learning and wisdom. When you can um, share experiences from a performing perspective, then more people are going to be aware of them because it's much more interesting. Uh, so you share the experiences and they imprint more deeply on you than if you were just doing something by rote. So I think the whole performance piece in relation to learning is the best possible way to approach this. The classes are actually really good because they're taught by teachers that actually work at Science Center. Like me, I take astrophysics. I don't think I would ever take that if I was at a normal school. It's a way to succeed. They make sure that you even get to the college you want to get to. I'm getting all A's. Um, I made it into the National Honor Society and I'm doing great on myself. It's important for us to not look at our kids like they're a risk of some sort. We have to look at the possibility.